All right, this one, not going to work. I am almost sure of it. But we're definitely going to give it a shot. So, you know, there's categories, obviously. You can have, have up to five stars for each category per player. So, we're going to be sorting by the physical category and picking a team based off that. So, obviously, there's going to be some five-star people. We got to go through all of them first. And then when we get to the four and a halfs, so we can, you know, you get it. And if you don't, I'm sure you will soon enough. So we'll get there. Fantasy draft on. Yes, please. Trade difficulty hard, even though I'm not going to be making any trades. So it really does not affect me. You know what? I'm going to swap out these teams for other teams just because I can. There is no other reason for me to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, I was going to have the most random season mode of all time. I mean, obviously they're not going to add it in because that would just... There's really no point for it, but it'd be cool if there was like a randomized button here and he just randomizes through all the teams in the game and just puts it into a league. I have no idea why I decided to do this, but here we are. That's a cool logo. I like that. The foxes, that is neat. Wow. Okay, there's some cool... This is basically... I don't know. This kind of reminds me of like... For some reason, the first thing I thought of was if Ford and Kit Kat had a child. Also, I see capitals there. And I see capitals here, so what's going on? Maybe there even is a faster way and you can multi-select or something and I just have no idea. That is a very real possibility, but I don't know. What's previous category? Oh, so it just does that. Never mind. That is not at all what I thought it was. This kind of looks like the LA Rams, like the NFL team. We are almost there. Definitely closing in on it for sure. I'm basically just picking teams at random now. I mean, I guess that's kind of what I was doing the whole time anyway. So I don't know what changed or why I felt the need to say that, but... Just so you know, there is no bias here. I'm literally just picking teams. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's a little bit of bias. If I see a cool logo, like this rooster looking thing, probably going to pick you. All right, I think Washington is the last team here. I'm going to do a quick glance over after this to make sure. Actually, let me just count here. So we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14. So yeah, this is the last team. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out this Washington Capitals team. Put in, uh, uh, this team, <laughs> and then let's, uh, you know, let's do this thing. Let's do a fancy draft now. Who do I want to be is the real question. I'm going to be the Pelicans because they're the coolest jerseys, so, yeah. Anyway, that's our squad, and I don't think I need to, this doesn't really affect the simulation, any of these settings, so I'm just going to start the season anyway, and let's see what draft position we get. Come on. Give me a decent draft pick here. Or not. We're never going to find out. Number 12. Okay. Decent. So let's do this. I think that in the middle for a draft like this is actually a pretty good spot to land. So I'm not upset with that whatsoever. And let's go ahead and do the physical category here. So we got Bufflin. We got Brian Boyle. Okay. So basically, oh wow. We only have three to pick from here for the... Five-star physical, that's kind of surprising. So, I mean, naturally, I think we're going to take Bufflin. That just makes sense. Yeah, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. Boyle, welcome to the team. Might as well take Pelusa. Well, I guess I can go for a goalie because Pelusa's not going anywhere. So, maybe I'll just do that. And hopefully, we can get two good goalies. And maybe we'll be able to float. I doubt it. Wait, what? What? Wow. Season mode drafts are way different from franchise ones. This is ridiculous. How are we already down to... Yo, what's going on? What's going on? We're already down to 83? Hold on. Let me let me go back to round one. What's happening here? McKinnon, Dreisaitl, Ovechkin. Ovechkin. Ah. I know what's happening. I'm not sure if that's just a season thing, but I'm going to try here on franchise mode. Because that just seems not right. Maybe it's not possible, actually. Because I think this does affect the the draft. Huh. Yeah, because I think if I... Oh, wow, that's weird. I don't know, man. All right, well, whatever. We're going to try this then. Uh, that was a waste of time, but <laughs> here we go. Let's try with the Colorado Avalanche. That's the team we got at random. So let's do it. Okay, what pick will we receive this time? That was, I, yeah, something wasn't right because McDavid wasn't even there and it was just a mess. So, yeah, it's not worth it. Number 16, we're in the middle again here. So, let's see if this fixes things a little bit. That's unfortunate, but 
Yeah, I guess it is what it is. If someone has any explanation for that, is it because we swapped the teams in and out? But then how were some players there? Oh, I know why. It's because of the... Oh, well, no, because I don't think I put Bufflin on any team, did I? Maybe he was on the Atlanta team. But yeah, cause I swapped in some custom teams. And then those players probably got put into the draft. But yeah, okay, well. Anyway, here we are. We're probably gonna have more choices now for physical. Yeah, a lot more. But let's see who we want to take. 87, Weber at 88. And then we've got Brent Burns at 88 as well. Is Tom Wilson 5-star? Please tell me he's 5-star. Yes! Oh, baby. We're definitely taking Tommy, but... For now, I'm going to probably line up Weber and... Should we take a goalie next? No, we should probably take Burns if he's still there, which he's old, so I doubt he's going anywhere. 88 overall, Brent Burns. Come on, there you go. And then I'm going to try to take a goalie. And then I'm going to go after Tom Wilson. Oh, actually, we're already down to 84 overalls getting drafted. Maybe I should just take Tommy while we have the chance. Okay, let's see here. Physical, sort... And is he gone already? No, he's there. Okay, thank you. Let's take him for now. I wonder if there's a way to prevent that from happening, where swapping the teams changes the draft class. Could be possible. I'm not really sure, but let's... I wanted to carry Price, but $10 million. I did leave the cap on. I kind of want to try to live within it, so let's take Markstrom. Okay, how many physical players do we have left? Bufflin is still there. We could take Bufflin, and Lucic is still there too. <laughs> oh my gosh, 78 overall. That's a rough go. Um, well, Kreider's also gonna be a good pick, but let's take Bufflin for now, and then I'll probably take Kreider there if he's still around, which he probably will be. How many five stars is there? Okay, so it goes to here. Matt Martin is the last one, so these are basically all of our choices. Oh boy, it's gonna be a rough team. Kreider, welcome. There you go. I might take Boyle next, or maybe I should take a backup goalie and just hope that our goalies can really bail us out. That is exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take Dobby, I think, here. Oh, but Grubauer as well. Same price and same overall as Dobby. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. Screw it. There we go. Dano Chara. <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, I mean, he's not gonna get drafted, but whatever. We have to take him. There's also, I don't know what we should do. Like, are we going to have defense playing forwards? Or should we make it so that once we have six defense, then we can go to the 4.5 forwards? Like, instead of doing it overall, like, separated into forwards and defense, that's probably the best bet because that kind of gives us a shot. I mean, still not really, but more of a chance than we had before. So from forwards, we have Peluso and up, which are going to be on the team. Oh, 68 overall. That is not good at all oh boy okay well i doubt any of these people are gonna get taken so let's just start picking them off one by one i was gonna say we could also hope that someone picks up these players and then you know we'll get to move down to the 4.5 but that is just simply not happening so is this five star physical yeah brian boyle welcome honestly if we get 20 wins with this team i'm gonna be impressed i really will but it's not gonna happen i don't think we're gonna get obliterated well we actually will be moving to the 4.5 soon and there's only i guess six defense because we got to take alexiak and then we got to take Sherat, and then that's it for defense with five star physical so i guess our forwards will be able to be the 4.5 range so we got good goaltending our defense are actually pretty solid but we severely lack in the offense department so we have to take these three players at the top here martin peluso and lucic yikes Oh well, gotta do it. Welcome to the team, Matt Martin. And Peluso will be the last one until we move on to the 4.5 physical category, which we might be able to scoop up a decent forward or two. I'm not really sure. We're gonna find out soon, though. All right, Peluso. Boom, there you go. 4.5 time. There's probably gonna be a bunch of 4.5s. Yeah, there's a lot here. So it goes up to here. Any decent overalls. Namath, but he's defenseman. Oh, we might be screwed, guys. Maroon. Could take Maroon. I mean, he's only 80 overall. And same with Delorier. He's 78. Kyle Clifford. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a rough one. For sure. But, gotta do what you gotta do. We're in it now. Wait. Advocator's here as well? That's kind of surprising. Okay, well, let's take Patty Maroon and go from there. I guess I'll take Kyle Clifford. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. We have $25 million of cap space. We are already maxed out on wingers, so... We're going to have some wingers playing center. That is for sure. Oh, we could take Bacchus. There's a centerman. 
And it will also eat up a little bit of our cap space, so that's... I guess it fits. I can only imagine how bad our chemistry is going to be too. So we actually only need one more pick and we're done here. So let's try to take the best overall player, I guess. Uh, let's go back over to physical. Go to 4.5 all the way down until we can't anymore. And now let's find the best player. So 78. No, that's a defenseman. Sorry, Shen. Ooh, 80. Oh, name it. That's a defenseman as well. Hmm. Well... Looks like Delorier is our best bet. All right, I am absolutely going to have to take a screenshot of this draft class because they are going to pick players who can be on the team now. And that means when I do the lines, I'm going to have to do some subbing. Undoubtedly. So either way, let's go ahead and sim the entire draft. Boom. And let's try to put this team together. We are going to suck. All right, so there is our team. We also picked up Jonathan Quick, apparently. That was the next pick they took. Oh, you know what? I don't think they did get any decent players. So this might actually be our team. We might have to make as many subs as I thought. Either way, I'm still definitely taking a screenshot there. So let's see. Did it work? Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so now I know for sure. Oh boy, I'm nervous. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> that is bad. Don't even think about it, coach. I don't need you. Clearly, look at this amazing team I drafted. However, Sasha Chimles Chimavelski. Chimavelski? Chimalevsky? Something like that? Not one of our draft picks. And there's another center down there as well. So scratched. I should be able Okay, yeah, it's just these two. So boom. In you go. And out you come for our final person here in Peluso. Wow, magically that gets a plus one. I am impressed. Okay, well that's probably about as good as it's going to get chemistry-wise. I'm actually shocked that we were able to even get that. But here's our defense. Can we get any plus threes? Oh, we can, but then that kind of costs that. Oh, damn. Come on, man. All right, well, if I move him up, maybe I can move Chara down. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. That's the good stuff right there. And then in net, we've got Markstrom and Grubauer. So our team, man, is rough. Here we go. i got to remember to turn off injuries. Well... I should honestly leave them on. It probably works in our favor. But I'm definitely going to say that our <laughs> highest scoring player is going to be... I don't even know. I might say Shea Weber, truthfully. Or maybe Brent Burns. Maybe it'll be Brent Burns and he'll get... <laughs> I was going to say 40, imagine. Brent Burns is going to get 60 points. That's just my guess, okay? I have no idea how well we're going to do. But if I had to make a guess right now, I'd say we get 27 wins. Now, obviously, this would probably work better with a different category, but I wanted to start with the physical category just to see what happens. So this is more of an experiment than anything else. Well, I know it's not saying much, but we actually had a pretty decent preseason there. Yeah, I'd say pretty decent. 3-2-1. and one. Normally, I'd say that's not good, but for this team, not bad. Even though we were probably playing AHL teams, essentially. Oh! That's it. Cancel the season. Maybe we will do decent. Maybe we'll just basically bully other teams into letting us score goals. And then we will... No, never mind. Here it goes. <laughs> We're on the top of the roller coaster and it's a 90 degree drop. Oh, I thought I turned morale meetings off. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm going to agree. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to go turn these off immediately. Okay, promise. Sure, there you go. You get a little bit of a promise there, chief that I have no intention of living up to. All right, I was in the midst of going to turn off morale meetings. Shea Weber, almost point a game right now. Look at this guy go. Yeah, there is no shot we make the playoffs, but that does not come as a surprise whatsoever. I don't think anybody would have expected this team to have made the playoffs. 12, 20, and five. I mean, 27 wins is still on the table. We might be able to get that. Yep, I'm starting to think that the 27 win prediction is not going to come true. There is no chance, I don't think, that we are going to get there. Oh, what a what a blockbuster trade. Wow. Winnipeg got fleeced. Okay, so I look away for one second and what happened? How are we at almost 20? How? How? How'd this happen? <laughs> we are just on a tear after the trade deadline, apparently. Well, I mean, I shouldn't call it a tear, but it's the closest thing that this team will get to a tear. Okay, so... We didn't make the playoffs. I am devastated. I can't believe it. Bufflin with the most points. Wow. 66 and 82 for Buff. That is sick. So we finished with 28 wins. Um, I mean, we weren't even that far behind Chicago, really. But yeah, we... Did we finish last in the league? Let's find out. I'm kind of interested to see if we did. Go all the way down. Colorado. 
Where are you at? Did we finish 31? Or did someone finish worse than us? No. We are at the bottom. But we finished one point less than LA. So we still had a fighting chance to not be dead last anyway. So Carolina won the President's Trophy with 111 points. So let's look at our team first. And we'll go look at Carolina just to see who they have. So our top three players, all defensemen. Then we got Tim Winston with 46 points. Minus 15, though. Kreider, 43. Backus, 38. That's kind of shocking. Holy crap. Okay, well, there's our team. And then our goalies, they probably got... Li they held their own. 909 and 917. Good job, guys. All right, so Carolina had Georgiev. There he is, 84 overall. Aaron Dell as the backup. And if we go to all skaters, they had Panarin at 92. They have Nicholas Backstrom, Pacioretty. Couture, Ben, Hosang put up a good amount of points. Good for him. Charlie Coyle, 54. Shiri, 53. Jones, 44. Slavin, 30. Okay, so yeah, they do have a pretty good team. I get why they did so well. Will Carolina be able to win the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup? Unlikely. Normally, when you win the President's Trophy, you get swept in round one. So let's see what happens here to them. They are down 3-0 to Montreal. I bet you they got swept. I am... Almost guaranteeing it. And now Montreal is in the conference finals. So they did get first rounded. But we don't know if... Oh my! They ended up winning the cup? Montreal! What a run for them. Well, I think it's only fair that we should see who Montreal drafted. So they have Pierre-Luc Dubois at 87. Capo Caco at 85. Bo Horvat. So two very young players here getting their first Stanley Cups. And then we've got Horvat, 26. Stahl, Beauvillier. Who... Beauvillier is only 23? Why did I think he was so much older than that? Holy crap. Okay. Riley Smith, Jakob Vrana, Blake Coleman, TJ Brody. I mean, their team really is not insane. They're decent at best. Oh, they had Vazzy though, so, you know, that probably helps. Well, here's the trophies. We pretty much know the team trophies already. And then individual, we got Matthews on the Blues with the Art Ross and the Hart. Klingberg on the Blues with the Norris. And then Braden Point, Calgary, gets the Lady Bing, Lafreniere. All in Chicago with the Calder. Con Smythe goes to Vazzy on the Canadians. Braden Holpe playing for the Lightning gets the Vesna and the Jennings. The Masterton goes to Detroit's Charlie McAvoy. Gerard from Detroit gets the Jack Adams. Selkie goes to Barkov on Arizona. Matthews also with the Ted Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard goes to Brad freaking Marchand. Are you kidding? All right, there's the playoff tree, guys. So this one was interesting. Let me know which category you want me to try doing this for next. We will most likely have a much better chance at this, and I will probably do the same kind of thing where I break it up into forwards and defense, so that way we don't just end up with a whole bunch of one, and you know we can kind of have a decent team put together and try to get some okay chemistry so we have a shot at winning the cup. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Do not forget to subscribe. It'd be tremendous. There's still a whole bunch of you that watch these videos and aren't subscribed. So if you could do that, that would be unbelievable. Okay? And I'll catch you later.